The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Yeah, I forgot something. Uh, yes, it's 50% off Karl Marx dolls today uh, during this show. Just to, just to remind you, if you get the drift, it's a deep joke today. Uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, well, what do we have going on? I think the big news uh, happened to this morning about uh, 10 a.m. And uh, we'll get a chart up here. Um, earnings were pretty good. Um, we had somebody do something that is incredibly rare. And that is uh, go on one of the shows. I think it was CNBC. Could have been Bloomberg or one of the other ones. Uh, didn't have a chance to uh, watch it. Uh, but uh, there's nothing like uh, having a day where eh, you're a little weak opening up already. And the next thing you do is go on the media and tell everybody you're engaged in what's going to be a price war. Uh, Intel basically saying it's going to cut and slash the price of its processors uh, to compete more against AMD. It's also going to uh, be incredibly aggressive on pricing uh, its new video card line. And is its video cards going to be as good as AMD's or uh, 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 NVIDIA's? Probably not. But the market's uh, pretty, pretty good about uh, firing first and asking questions later. Eventually, Intel could, if they stick with it, be uh, be the spoiler for both of these. But if you're wondering what gut shot them earlier in the day and brought the market back a bit, that was it. Of course, uh, that at, happened about the same time as the uh, NASDAQ rolled back over fairly hard, uh, uh, and including the S&P 500. As yesterday, I said that uh, tops come in when everybody, uh, when the shorts can't short anymore. Uh, this morning's pop higher, saw a lot of people just get out of the way, didn't see a lot of people shorting. The news came in, and that's when you start seeing these big moves lower. Now, does that mean that the bottom falls out before Friday? Probably not. My guess, though, is that the sell is in. If you were brave enough to pull the trigger this morning, the only thing I did was get out of my long position and uh, decide to go short on it. Um, after this news and make some of that ill-gotten uh, cash come back. I don't think we're done, though. Uh, if uh, you listen to uh, when I have Tim Ward on every once in a while, big fan of saying uh, of, uh, you know, that highs generally are shortable highs generally come on maybe Wednesdays and Fridays uh, and make you sweat all the weekend if it happens on a Friday. Um, that actually came from some stuff where I did a test. That was back in the 2000s. But that is still fairly good. So I'm just going to say that uh, if you're short, you probably stay short. I wouldn't be adding a new position here short right now. I think you could go sideways. Apple's probably going to be okay. Will it make everybody forget the fact that uh, that uh, Intel is going to drop the baby Ruth in the punch bowl for high profit uh, desktop processors and video cards? Probably not. Uh, but, you know, maybe you can get a bounce. Maybe you got too much short positions in it. But going into a weekend, you're already down 5 6 7% on NVIDIA and uh, AMD for the day. It's tough to think that a lot of people throw themselves in front of that, uh, in front of that locomotive. Uh, as I said, the best thing to do is go ahead and flip to the other side. I don't do um, day trades uh, per se in the newsletter. I'm looking for a bigger trend, mostly because uh, if you're just day trading, I mean, literally 
in and out the same day. Um, there's kind of too much lag for a newsletter to try to capture that and accurately. Occasionally, I'll try uh, options on expiration day, and that kind of you have to kind of know that you know you get out, you don't wait for me kind of things. But uh, certainly, uh, in v uh, AMD probably going to hit 100. I thought maybe today got down to 103 and kind of backed up a little bit here, but. Um, Tomorrow, 100? Could be. Um, already in a cell, um, I'm suspecting that some of the bigger ETFs like ARC and those folks uh, are, whether it's gonna, it's true or not, doesn't really matter. They're going to uh, continue to go after them after this bounce. But we have the, as I said before, we have, I was waiting for uh, the, uh, the sign that the market went up and and the shorts couldn't pull the trigger most of them couldn't pull the trigger yet again um does that mean that we instantly go down no does that mean that a high is probably in more than likely nothing works 100 percent in the market but certainly when that came in the intel news came out pretty good sign that no matter what happens there's going to be people throwing cold water on everything coming out in the near future. My guess is that there are probably still some funds that are having some problems. Um, my guess is that uh, you're swimming with the sharks uh, on Wall Street and they probably smell some blood in the water. So probably a lot of uh, more negative news coming out. I think there can't be anything more negative than the response to gold. It's down 30, uh, 37.40 uh, cents. That suggests that it could all go all the way back to 1600 now, and it seems almost impossible. Uh, the only time I've seen this before is in the deflationary uh, environments. And what if we did see um, a big change, and that was uh, maybe the energy prices, for some reason that I do not fathom now, take a giant plunge, uh, the inflation instantly goes away. The Fed has higher rates, and they pulled the money out of the bond market all at once. Um, you know, there are some things that could go on out here. Um, like I said, uh, when facts change, you know, what is it? Uh, Keen said, when the facts change, I change my mind also. What do you do, sir? Because someone said, hey, you changed your mind. Hey, uh, we have that ability and the capability and the right to do that as traders. Things will change, the stories will change. So, yeah, um, could we see $100 on AMD today? Uh, I wouldn't put it out the out of the realm of possibility. Um, you know, we saw those rolling auctions um, and the bounce out of the, that move. We had the opportunity to hold it today. It needed to be about 4,400. I knew we were probably going to bounce up there uh, yesterday. I put that out in an update to my subscribers, and that was that yesterday's move was overdone. We also had one of the highest short rates of all time yesterday going into the close. That almost always leads to a bounce. Doesn't mean the direction of the market changes. Does mean, though, that the shorts will probably be uh, squeezed out before the turn does come. We'll be back in a minute, and uh, we've got lots of stuff to talk about today. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm going to bypass uh, history today. Nothing really interesting happened. Just kidding. I had somebody ask me a uh, question, and I said I'd answer it on here today. Uh, what is zero trust in computer security? Um, I've talked about this before. Uh, the idea was before that you had uh, this big computer, you had uh, castle walls all around it. And you just assume the castle wall is going to keep everybody out. Once they got in, there's nothing to stop them. Everybody's on the wall. Nobody's inside next to the king. And that's the way that uh, both hardware and software have been used. Once you're inside the castle, the idea was that you're one of us, and so you should be okay. And once someone got in and snuck in, then they could just mingle with all the other. What are the, what are the people that lived inside a castle called? I don't know. I'm sure that, that the, the castle dwellers, although I bet there's a, probably a better name for them, um, are just thought to be uh, loyal subjects of the king. Anyway, uh, zero trust is not a technology. It's a strategy. And that's why it's kind of hard to invest in. I went after one company that was doing it early on, and uh, most of the bigger companies really did not and adopt it as quickly as I thought they might. We made some money on the trades, uh, but eventually it kind of went away and it split. I can't even remember the name of the company now. Maybe I'm blocking it out because I thought that they had, was one of those companies that had an enormous amount of uh, opportunity and didn't, I mean, did a little bit, but did not do it. Um, Arthur, what's the name of that company? If he's listening. I'll think of that. I want to say fire or something. I'm blocking it out now. Anyway, the, the strategy is never trust, always verify. doesn't matter if you're calling in or outside. You need to be uh, treated the exact same way. Um, there's, no, there's no higher level of trust inside the castle walls than outside of it. Uh, implement uh, least privilege uh, that you actually need to get the job done, which means that you don't come in and automatically get uh, uh, upgraded. Um, if you come in, you just need to look at something that uh, you don't get uh, you don't get uh, rights to everything. And uh, lastly, always assume you've got a breach going on and you've got a team already set up to handle it. Go back and figure out how to. Uh, fix what's broken, if they broke anything while they were in the system. 
but uh, a hard one to actually invest in. But uh, many people, uh, many companies are slowly moving to the idea of castle or from the idea of castle walls to the zero trust thing. But that uh, is why it's been kind of tough to get uh, a uh, good idea on where the play is for these uh, companies that uh, are in hack. 877-927-6648. Uh, other things, uh, as we said, uh, we had a selling climax. Uh, generally, doesn't mean the market's uh, done. Just means that it's done for a little bit. Uh, we talked about that earlier this week. Uh, we were waiting for the market to kind of turn around, go back up, give us the kind of thing. I know it's been a long time. It's been, what, since uh, 2009 that we really had any kind of market that could be declared the kind of bear market that we've already seen in the last week or two. They tend to uh, come very briefly and very succinctly to begin with. Um, put that back up here uh, as we look at Intel. Anyway, uh, Intel already has uh, 60. Oh, let's update that. I bet it's 70 million shares now. Uh, Intel... Um, yeah, 66 million shares into a 41 million share low already. Uh, probably not going to get any better. And remind me to talk about how Apple and Intel relate going back to 1987 on this subject. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to show this because I showed it twice. Once before I left for Christmas vacation and once now. Where is it at? There it is. And we talked about it. John Jean-Paul Rodrig on transportgeography.org has this chart. Uh, it's been around for, I think, 20 years now. I remember seeing it for a long time. I said this is the most important chart that you need to know where you're at in the market. And yesterday I, and this morning, I think, was the top of the return to normal. Uh, this chart outlines, in broad outlines, where you need to think you are uh, to trade uh, the markets. Uh, now, the one thing that happens is that there's another thing that I haven't talked about called the rule of alternation. I've brought it up from time to time. Any kind of trading strategy, there's generally a, a, at least a pebble of truth that you can use uh, into the future. And one of the ones uh, for, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Prechter's deal, uh, is a uh, thing called the rule of alternation. And it tends to work enough that you should think about it. And that is, if you get a real sharp straight move down, you tend to get a, a violent uh, kind of move back up that's kind of hard to figure. Uh, and then each leg will have kind of a different character as it goes on. Traditionally, the, from the return to normal I'm showing now, back to the pit of despair, and yeah, Princess Bride there, uh, is a uh, capitulation phase. That capitulation phase generally is not just straight down. It is a complex, uh, takes two steps down, three steps backwards, two steps forward, two steps down. Uh, at this point, if you are bearish, the way to generally make money is just sit on your hands. And it's going to take a lot because you're going to have a lot more like you had in the last uh, two days where you drove it up to 44.50, gave it all up in a day, drove it back to, what, 44.20 or something today, gave it all up. Um, then you come down here and it doesn't break. And you're going, okay, that is, uh, I'm going to cover and generally, that isn't the way to do it. If you believe that you're in that return to normal, uh, down to fear and capitulation phase, and which means that the market's going to come back uh, and probably break through the mean growth level going back uh, 50 years, and then uh, you're going to come back up. Uh, if you want to go back to the charts and look at this, it is the three months or four months or five months I think five months before uh, the uh, before uh, March fifth of two thousand nine, uh, because that was one of my biggest wins of all time, and it, it, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a position quite like that again. 
Uh, but that's when, um, on March 5th, I bought four companies. All of them had tested the previous lows on 10% of the volume they had several times before. And there were stocks that I, most people just would never, ever think of. Uh, I didn't know what was going to go up in the market, but I knew that at 10% of the previous low, 10%, one out of 10, million shares, couldn't get 100,000 shares down at the low. I knew those were the ones to go after. Uh, C, what is it? Uh, Canadian Solar. I'll think of the rest of them. But, uh, you know, until you find some kind of low where we get significantly lighter volume, and I mean something ridiculously like that, you're probably, if I'm right, uh, looking at that two steps forward, three steps back, one step forward, three steps back. Uh, going forward. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, I have a bold and amazing announcement to make. And that is you're going to get two hours of Larry Pesson Evento today as he will follow me. And I'm uh, glad to be his warm-up at 3 o'clock. 877-927-6648. Uh, question in the den, uh, or not in the den, in uh, my email, which you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Do you think a lot of the interday volatility can be attributed to new uh, retail Robinhood traders? No. I think a lot of this has to do with computers. Um, 
There's uh, a thing in uh, machine learning called optimal brain damage. And um, kind of uh, everything has kind of an allegory in computer science, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Uh, but the one in this one is that uh, you don't want to get stuck for too long on a uh, on a path, either up or down in the markets, so that you should only remember a certain amount of stuff and then forget everything else. And so I'm going to say that most of this uh, have been, uh, or most of the stuff that we've seen, these wide swings in our day, are computers pushing around the market. I don't think the Robin Hood traders are fast enough. It takes a lot of mental dexterity to follow as hard as these things have gone. But, you know, what else can you say? Uh, but no, I, though at the piece, uh, pace and rapidity, you would have to have everybody marching uh, in uh, lockstep, uh, kind of like the uh, guys in the 300 going, Hua! I like that movie. That gladiator. Jimmy, <laughs> all I can think is that line from uh, Airplane now. Jimmy, have you watched any movies about gladiators? Um, but anyway, certainly one of the things you should think about. Anyway, uh, oh, I wanted to get back to the yes. Thank you, uh, Ron, who uh, brought up uh, in the video more about why I'm comparing Intel to uh, Macintosh in 1987 and that is when they kicked uh, Steve Jobs out of uh, that he said the the thing to do to be long-term uh, successful in the market uh, would be to go down the same road that um, that uh, Microsoft did which it, it just licensed its operating system uh, but uh, they would do it a little bit differently and that would be they'd have to approve uh, uh, the uh, machines that did it. They just wouldn't like clones have it. They'd let other big manufacturers make them and take the low margin hardware build and take uh, the high margin software development part of it. And man, you would have think uh, thought he started uh, uh, going off with Tourette's syndrome and uh, uh, attacking every uh, uh, person of uh, any color whatsoever, even transparent uh, folks. But if you wondered why Steve Jobs got kicked out of Apple, that is the reason why it was a bridge too far to let anybody in the investment world not out easily. And they thought that if they canned him, brought in, uh, uh, what's his name, Scully from uh, Pepsi, uh, to take over, that would be it. So they kicked him out, put in somebody that knew a lot about business but didn't know much about computers. And, of course, that went on for a while, uh, being a caretaker. But a lot of times, um, these people, if they have a lot of money invested, as they did in Apple, the only thing that they're worried about is not the long-term viability of your company, but uh, the return of their money uh, fairly quickly before they can try something else. They didn't bet on Apple having and changing its model midstream. They wanted none of that chance. So uh, they canned him, got him out the door. That was it. And, of course, you wonder what if they wouldn't have done that, if they would have taken the long term, if that would have happened. What I'm going to tell you is that Wall Street hates it. It hates it with a passion. It doesn't like any company changing its model. Uh, even if uh, Intel decides to come back in six months and raise prices on its desktop processors, it does not like a price war. It hurts everybody in the market. I'm surprised that he still hadn't been fired by the end of the day because most people in technology that have talked about lowering margins – that's a bridge too far, but uh, hadn't happened yet. But uh, when you're wondering about why Apple took such a dive, you, their earnings were that not bad? No. They're just say, hey, we, we look forward. 
We're dropping our margins to get market share back. Uh, we gave that up by not being competitive. And now we're going to be competitive, but you know what it's going to do? It's going to absolutely beat that bottom line. Most people, yeah, I talk about it from time to time, but if you've never been in retail sales, margin is uh, exactly what keeps you from going bankrupt. It doesn't matter whether you're selling computers, selling anything else. A lot of people think, well, if you can make, if you can make something for a dollar and sell it for a buck fifty, then you're going to be okay. The problem is that's not the way it works. The way it works is if you are selling it for a dollar seventy, and you start taking a dollar fifty, Wall Street assumes that you're going to be down to a buck twenty-five or a buck twenty. Um, I've had this theory for a long time. It's uh, ended up uh, serving me well. But uh, just go in and ask any lawyer of any type that you want to do anything. Just you want to say something nice. They'll tell you, no, you don't do that. Literally, a lawyer will never tell you really most times. I guess maybe uh, criminal lawyers are different. But if you're saying, should I sign this contract? Absolutely not. Because if something comes back at them, guess who you blame? You charge them money. They don't want to be in that position. You go into a, uh, and this is the other side of that, you go into a doctor. He asks you how much you drink. You say you have one beer before you go to bed every night. He's going to assume that you have six beers a night and you're an alcoholic. You can't be trust. You, you can't tell the truth to a doctor and you can't ask permission from an attorney. And those are kind of some parables that you should look at when these big guys on Wall Street are buying and selling stocks, how they think. They think like a doctor if you're telling them a little lower. And if you ask permission, they'll always say no to anything new. They don't want it. They bet on the horse that they bought when they got uh, into your company and bought 10 million shares. They don't want that story changing. They're going to wait and see what happens. This is the big guys. The smaller guys, maybe the story's good, maybe it's not. Wall Street assumes that you're telling them that you're drinking one beer at night and uh, or that you're telling them that they know, they just know drinking six beers a raging alcoholic. We'll be back after this. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, uh, got a lot of stuff. You know, go to the den. Got any questions on Data Dog? Um, you had your first test, pretty good test down here. Uh, what is that? Uh, August, uh, September, October, November, December. August 5th, he thinks. Uh, 1.7, or excuse me, 11.7 million shares back on that August 5th date. You tested it uh, with uh, 7.4. Um, you know, fairly light volume. Um, it went to exactly as I talk about how uh, many times where you uh, want to use the art of the charts for looking for these double, uh, double uh, gaps. And it almost comes in right in very close back here. Um, you bounced, you had some decent volume. I think the company's pretty good, but I think you probably get one more test down there. Uh, you see it at about 3 million shares, probably means the rest of the market's tested too. Uh, I had some stocks that I loved and wanted to be in and I'm out of because I fear the next uh, move down, which could be to 400, excuse me, 4,000 on the S&P. And, you know, when we look back at it, will the line be a straight line down? Eh, eh, if you stand back about 10 feet, but it'll be probably a little rough, as I said earlier. But even great companies are going to have problems in this leg. Now, does it start instantly today? No, uh, but I do think it starts uh, probably tomorrow's close. Uh, da, 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 okay, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Oh uh, yeah, I posted that part of Kentucky Fried Movie, probably the best movie of all time, although it will offend everyone. Uh, it is uh, came out the same year that Saturday Night Live came on, and the uh, the guy that made Animal House and Airplane. And all of those guys were all involved. Uh, but, uh, you know, is it a low budget? Yeah. But it is, especially historically, absolutely. Uh, I laughed so hard in the theater I threw up in 1976 or 77 when I saw it. I remember laughing that hard. And if you're a man of a certain age or a woman, uh, it is hysterical. All I could think about was so when someone said something in the den is a scene uh, where I posted it in the den, where they, <laughs> where they're ripping off uh, or making fun of spoofing Enter the Dragon, and there's so many little things in that thing that if you knew the uh, <clears throat> knew the history of its time, that are hysterical. But uh, from uh, Argon Energy, the ad about uh, recycling uh, <laughs> recycling the oil from combs of uh, young kids and. Uh, other folks, just a ton of stuff that uh, isn't there. 877-927-6648. Uh, Larry Pesavento, 
in the bullpen warming up for Tom at 3 o'clock. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, two, two, two. What else do we have here? we got another question. Okay. Okay, you missed my question. According to Robinhood Retail Weekly Option and Buying, there's a recent trend to retail uh, day trading large volumes of weekly operations causing big moves in the market and futures due to option market makers taking the other side and hedging. No. I think it is uh, all computer-based high-frequency trading right now that are causing that weak, uh, those big moves. The reason why, if your uh, belief was true, you would see that hedging in the dark pool numbers. And as I said, normally you have about 36, 37, 38 uh, percent of the trades are in a dark pool so they can avoid those high frequency bozos siphoning off money. When they do their trades, uh, mostly they're going to be in that. So if you think it's retail traders doing a great big deal in that market, that's true. But the opposite is true also, which is that you would see a lot more action by the guys in the dark pool. You are not seeing it. You saw a lot of the folks uh, over the last four, five, six days pull back, and most of the volume was in the retail trader. So there wasn't that many people doing the opposite side of that. If they were, a lot of it had to do probably with high-frequency traders. So... Most of the people we see, the big hedge funds, just can't move that much. Now, they have some kind of model and they have a computer that implements that model. Uh, but uh, most of these guys have just given up on fighting the high-frequency traders. Uh, but one thing you can't do as a retail trader is avoid them. Uh, I think interactive brokers may be the only broker that allows you uh, access to that. But you, uh, it's different than paying a fee. Um, if you pay a fee, I think you can. But I am not sure. 877-927-6648. Uh, Email me at path at tfnn.com. Okay. Uh, what else do we have out here? More. Uh, Olive Garden is sending me warm feelings this winter. Uh, although it's warmed up here today. I was able to go out without my jacket on. Uh, let's see what else we have here in the emails. Okay. Oh, yes, I had not played it, and I'm going to do it. we got two minutes. That's enough time. Uh, I'll do it. Well, yeah, I'll do it now, and then I'll answer G7's question in the den. Uh, we talked uh, uh, maybe a week or ten days ago about making long-range predictions. Uh, if uh, you watch Joe Rogan's uh, podcast from yesterday... The first 10, 15 minutes is all about why uh, most of these models are going to break long term, why you should watch them more in a short term. I brought up uh, Hinston's, uh, Jeff Hinston's, uh, who's kind of the godfather of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and in his speech. But I think now I don't have enough time now. I ran out I, doing the lead up. But uh, maybe I'll play that tomorrow or maybe in the next one. Let's take a look at the SMHs here. Uh, would I start a short here on the SMHs? No. My guess is there are going to be a lot of uh, phony upgrades. you got Apple coming out after the bell tonight. My guess is if you wanted to start a short position, it's either going to be on the close tomorrow or it's going to be Sunday night futures fun time. Uh, I particularly don't want to sweat it. I'm going to make, take the easier trade and probably wait till Sunday night and see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I... You, if you've got to do an equity and your only option is pulling a, a, a squeeze out, um, would be whether is this going to break? It's very tough to see with Intel and the rest of these things headed lower. Uh, that there's anything better going to happen out here. I suspect that we're probably going to see AMD and Intel continue to sell into the close out here, although they had a little bit of a bounce. But uh, now. I think maybe you hope a little bit higher tomorrow to pull the trigger. Uh, the easier, safer bet doesn't mean it's going to happen. Just wait till Sunday night and try to be back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we uh, get ready to close the day out, I did want to uh, play this little bit from uh, Jeff Hinton. Uh, he spells it with a G. He's one of those Jeffs. Jeffrey Hinton. Um, he's kind of the godfather of uh, of machine learning. But I, I brought this up and read it last week, but I will want to play it again. In this final video, I was tempted to make some predictions about the future of research on neural networks. Instead, I'm going to explain to you why it would be extremely foolish to try and make any long-term predictions. I'm going to try and explain why we can't predict the long-term future by using an analogy. Imagine you're driving a car at night and you're looking at the taillights of the car in front. The number of photons that you receive from the taillights of the car in front falls off as 1 over d squared, where d is the distance to the car in front. That's assuming that the air is clear. But now suppose there's fog. Over short ranges, the number of photons you get from the taillights in front of you still falls off as 1 over d squared, because over a short range, the fog hardly absorbs any light. But for large distances, it falls off as e to the minus d. And that's because fog has an exponential effect. Fog absorbs a certain fraction of the photons per unit distance. So for small distances, fog looks very transparent. But for large distances, it looks very opaque. So the car in front of us becomes completely invisible at a distance at which our short-range model, the 1 over d squared model, predicts it will be very visible. That causes people to drive into the back of cars in fog. 
typically kills people. The development of technology is also typically exponential. So over the short term, things appear to change fairly slowly, and it's easy to predict progress. All of us, for example, can probably make quite good guesses about what will be in the iPhone 6. But in the longer run, our perception of the future hits a wall, just like with fog. So the long-term future of machine learning and neural nets is really a total mystery. We've no idea what's going to happen in 30 years' time. There's just no way to predict it from what we know now, because we're going to get exponential progress. So that was him, I think, in 2016, maybe? I don't know. It's been a long time ago since I took that quiz. Hang on for Larry Pesavento sitting in for the great one, Tom O'Brien. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.